breaking news this morning at 6. Milwaukee fire crews are responding to a large structure fire. This happening right now near 41st in Burleigh. Let's get right out to Jason Calvi live at the scene. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, we have two homes here that are on fire. Firefighters are not only battling the freezing cold, but they're also battling smoke right now. Uh, we did find out that everyone made it out of these two homes, including Lisa Renfro, who's joining us live. She's asked that we not show her face right now. But Lisa, you did just get some good news from the firefighters. Uh, tell our Fox 6 viewers what you just found out from the firefighters. That my daughter's cat was alive. Wow. In which we thought that she was gone, but she's alive. Wow. She was hiding under a bed, but she's alive. So the firefighters went up there and, and got her out. Where where was she up there? Yeah, she was in my daughter's house under her bed. Wow. So they got her out. Um, there was a dog as well. Yeah, they got him out too. My wow. dog. They got him out, and so everybody made it out safe and sound. But you know, our homes are a total loss. Oh my. So now you're dealing with that. You're dealing with the freezing cold. Yeah. Uh, what what time did this happen? And, and at 4 a.m. this morning, I was um, laying in my bed because I let my dog out at a certain time, and I was laying in my bed and heard a lot of commotion beating on my front door, and I called my daughter to ask her what was going on because we have ring doorbells, so I was asking her what was could she see anything, and it was the kids next door. Um, trying to get our attention to call the fire department because their home was on wow. fire. And when we got, when I called, when I got outside, I called 911. Um, at that time, all we could see was black smoke. Mm. And then when I went back upstairs to retrieve my son and my dog to make sure everything was okay up there, when I came back down, um, the side of my house was fully engulfed in flames. Oh and the fire department had to help me and my son get off the porch um, because the house was on fire. Our yeah. house was on fire as well. What was going through your mind as you saw your home now? Because the first fire was next door, then your home's on fire. What's going through your mind at that point? This has got to be the worst day of my life. And um, let us just make it off this porch safe. Mm. And now you're seeing them still battling the smoke yes. here. It's um, in my attic. It looked like it's still on fire. Yeah. They got my whole attic open. Yeah, and I can see firefighters on top of your home right yeah. now. They're taking the roof off. Uh, yeah. They're letting that smoke come out as they really try to make sure that everything's clear here. But it uh, looks like that home, your home. Uh, yeah, and the t home that caught on fire originally is a total loss. Do we know anything about a cause? Have the firefighters told you anything A about? heating pad. That's what the, the firefighters said? No, the occupant of the home said that it possibly was a heating pad. And of course, that will all still be investigated by the firefighters, yeah. but that's at least what the resident or the neighbor next door told yeah. me was going on here. Uh, what's your message for the firefighters as they see that they saved your cat, they've helped save your dog, and they got you out of there safe? I thank them so much. I thank them so much. Um, we owe a, a, a great deal to them because our pets is like our family members, and to lose them would have been something that it, we lost our home, but we wouldn't have wanted to lose our pets. But we, I, I really, I'm really grateful for them, and I really thank them a whole lot. Well, thank you for sharing your story. What happens now to you and your family now that you're not, you're not able to go back home today? Well, we lean on other family members, and we lean on our faith because that's the only thing that's going to get us through this. But I'm grateful and I'm thankful to God that I still have my life. My daughter still has her life. The kids next door to me still have their life. I'm grateful for that. How many people next door and in, in your home as well? A total of four children live, wow. no, three children live next door and their mother and me and my daughter and my son. So, all safe this morning. All safe this morning. Well, thank you very much for thank your time, you. Lisa Renfro, here in Milwaukee, one of the victims of this fire. Is Milwaukee firefighters still on scene battling the smoke, really trying to make sure that this thing is taken care of. But these people here out of their home and their pets are safe. They're safe. But now they're homeless. Reporting live in Milwaukee, Jason Calvi, Fox 6 News.